followed by Victoria Marshall. How y'all doing? I'm Jay Smith with Texas Harm Reduction Alliance. We are talking about saving people's lives today. When the Marshall Yard closes, we must make sure they exit into permanent supportive housing with life skills and access to medical assistance. If this does not happen, people will keep dying on a regular basis on the streets. There needs to be housing and shelter for the people of Austin. And at the same time, each and every shelter needs to be held accountable for everything that happened there, including overdoses, accidents, and mistreatment of guests. That is why it is essential for harm reduction to be set in place at every shelter. Every staff member must be or have lived experience and trained up on harm reduction. If the staff has no lived experience with overdose reversal, people will continue to die on a regular basis. Have you ever seen an overdose? I have more times than I'd like to count and it's scary. People freeze up and don't know what to do if they have no lived experience. I've seen it. Harm reduction has saved my life a dozen times. Whether we like it or not, homelessness and substance use go hand in hand. That is why harm reduction is essential inside the Housing First initiative. We need to continue care and to permanent supportive housing to prevent deaths. Once people are housed, I've lived harm reduction my entire life. I know addiction, pain, and homelessness. I'm from Austin, 78702. I know the people and what my community needs. Permanent supportive housing and harm reduction will save lives. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Victoria Marshall, Susie Beeson, 